BigCommerce provides its store owners with a powerful suite of analytics right out of the box. But to get even more reporting from your store's traffic, you'll want to upgrade to BigCommerce Insights. Insights is an incredible tool that can take your analytics to the next level. By unearthing some of this deeper data, BigCommerce store owners are able to improve their product's performance on the storefront while cutting costs to their overhead. Let me show you all that Insights has to offer. First off, to get to your Insights, click on Analytics and then Insights. The first section you will land on is All Insights. This will give you a quick look at popular reports like Rockstar Products and Hot Products. But this list may be different for each store. BigCommerce presents reports to you that Insights thinks are the most relevant to your store at that time. But let's go through each specific Insights category and we'll get to each of these. Click the menu that reads All Insights and select Merchandising Insights. You'll notice to the left of each report is the date this report was generated. And above the report, you will see the time period for this report. So this way you know which week these figures are from. My first report is Products to Improve. To get a full list of your report, click the View More Products link. These are your worst converting products within your most visited products. That means these products are among your top 10% highest viewed products, but they are selling the least, and maybe not at all. The conversion rate lets you know at what percentage they are selling versus how often they're viewed. With this data, you might decide to lower the price on these products, adjust their product descriptions, or perhaps add more or better product photos. Or you might run a sale on these products, promoting them with an email campaign. Rockstar products are your most visited, best converting products. Rockstar products are calculated by taking the top 10% most visited products and sorting them by conversion rate, best to worst. These products should be showcased on your homepage and promoted throughout all of your social channels. Some store owners will build a best selling category and put these products into that category to drive traffic directly to that page. You know your customers like these products. They've proven to be successful. Your job now is to get them in front of as many eyes as possible. Non-sellers. These products are not selling at all. Products with zero orders, sorted by most visited from most to least. You might want to consider removing them from your inventory and offering a clearance sale to offload these products. But we'd recommend tracking this statistic for a few weeks before jumping to any rash decisions. Click Load More to see more reports. Now our most discounted products shows you the performance of your discounted products. These are calculated by sorting discounted products by average discount applied from lowest to highest. This can help you see what customers buy the most when things are on sale or discounted. This might help you adjust prices or better offer sales on certain products to incite purchasing. Below that, we see hot products. These products had the most revenue growth from the week prior. This report is calculated by sorting products by revenue growth in absolute terms, which means dollar growth, not percentage growth. It's a good idea to keep an eye on these products. If they're taking off, it may be a good idea to push more advertising dollars this way. Cold products. These products had the largest revenue drop from the week prior. Also a good idea to keep an eye on these. Are these products seasonal, out of fashion, Either way, you may want to remove them from advertising campaigns or your homepage if they continue falling. Then we have products purchased together. This is a very helpful report. For each of your top selling products, here is the related product with which it is most frequently sold. With this data, a shop can decide what products to promote on other product pages. Some stores use this to create enticing related product options, which ultimately increases their average order value. You can also create product bundles if you know customers are always buying two products together. Or now you have the data to send targeted emails to those customers who only purchased that top selling product but did not also buy that related product. But I'm going to scroll back up to the top and move on to our next insights category, customer insights. Viewed but did not purchase. These customers viewed the same product more than once but didn't purchase. This is calculated by looking at the number of page views, unique visits, and unique days visited. The higher these values, the more interest is shown. You can take advantage of this by directly emailing these customers to see if you can entice them into buying the product. Perhaps a coupon code or bundled product deal with discount may entice that customer to purchase those items. The best customer's report is just that, 
It shows us which recent customers purchase the most often and spend the most. Customers that meet this criteria have purchased within the last 30 days, are in the top 20% of customers in terms of number of orders, and are in the top 20% of customers in terms of total spending. All guest orders are lumped into an anonymous placeholder customer. With this data, you can ask some of your best customers for testimonials or reviews to enhance your products. Or you can create loyalty groups to celebrate these great customers, provide them discounts, and keep them coming back to buy more. And also, they'll do some free promoting on your behalf. Who doesn't love promoting their own VIP club? Best full price customers. These customers buy even without discounts. Customers that meet these criteria buy all products at full price. They've purchased within the last 30 days and are in the top 20% of customers in terms of number of orders placed and total spending. Customers at risk. These are high value customers who last ordered between 30 and 365 days ago. They are in the top 20% of customers for total spending. With this data, you can create some neat email marketing campaigns like offering a discount to these customers if they come back and purchase. Low AOV customers. AOV stands for Average Order Value. These are customers who are in the top 20% for orders but lowest 20% for spending. Customers that meet these criteria must have purchased within the last 30 days. Repeat Purchase Rate. The percentage of customers who made a repeat purchase and how long it was between orders. Best products for repeat purchase. Customers who purchased these products were most likely to purchase again. The repeat purchase percentage is the percentage of customers who made a repeat order. This report is restricted to products purchased by at least five customers within the same cohort. This could be ideal for marketing products to first time buyers. Customer LTV. You'll see this as 30th, 90th, 180th, or 360th day. LTV stands for lifetime value. This is the average the customer has spent by a certain point after registering on your store. Let's move on to our abandoned cart insights. Most abandoned products. These products have the most associated abandoned carts. An abandoned cart is when a customer puts something in their cart and goes to checkout, but then exits the store without completing their order. We'd recommend looking at these products to determine why customers are not checking out. A lot of times this is due to a shipping rate that's just too high. Be sure to check out your shipping charges on these products to make sure everything is okay. Then we'll hit our last category, Marketing Insights. Here we see Customer LTV by Channel. This is broken into three reports, first day, 90th day, and 180th day. This tells us which marketing channel had the highest first order value and how many customers are on each of these timeframes. This averages the first order value for new customers from the past month. If you see your search as high numbers, you know your SEO is working for you. Direct means customers are typing your site's URL right into their browser without first using a search engine. But sometimes it's best to put the most energy and attention to that channel that's bringing in the highest average order throughout all three time periods. But you might also look to improve your worst performing channel and see if you can gain any ground there. So Insights can be an incredible tool. It allows you to make positive changes to your products, your store, and create meaningful advertising and email campaigns that will better serve your marketing budget.